Hey everyone, this is Brian and Steve from Nuts Off Gaming, and we're going to be talking about Black Ops 4, the game coming out October 12th. Going to give you our initial thoughts, and whether or not we plan on getting it ourselves, based on the information that we have presented pre-E3. Yep, and there have been quite a few trailers coming out, actually. Um, so, here and there, getting some more information about the game. But obviously, as you mentioned, E3 is where probably they're really going to um, dive deep into this game. Yeah, so these are just our opinions. Take them or leave it, or completely ignore them, or 100% go all in. Because if you've watched any of our videos, you know that we are gurus in terms of video games. Exactly. So we will um, kind of break this up into three portions of the game, which... Um, would be campaign multiplayer and zombies so we're gonna start with campaign here um, which um, I, I know there's probably not as much to talk about but um, kind of the, the first question I have here is um, what's the campaign like in this game and obviously so it's kind of been a, a series this is Black Ops 4 so the fourth game in the series um, you know what are they doing with that story and uh, or, or are they kind of scrapping it all together? So, simple answer, there is no campaign. Let's move on to the next section. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. But there is no campaign in the traditional sense. They decided to focus mainly on the other game modes. The story or narrative will be weaved throughout these other modes, essentially. So... Multiplayer will have solo missions for each of the specialist characters, which I guess could be their narrative, and it will probably be missions that they've gone on pre-Black Ops 4, which should still fit within the universe of Black Ops, probably between Black Ops 2 and 3. Okay, so it sounds like these are... Um characters in the universe but maybe not characters that um, you know have been kind of focused on in the game previously like that's about all I know so far uh, leave some comments below if you have any corrective information or updated information based on what we've told you but I I think in terms of the multiplayer narrative that's been built from the previous three Black Ops games it's not not much is going to be uh, progressed in this new game. So uh, I think that's pretty much it with the campaign section um, of the at least the questions I had. If there are any other questions you guys have, leave them down in the comments, um, and maybe we can uh, make another video addressing those. Um, so uh, the next section here is multiplayer. So. The we all know the traditional Call of Duty multiplayer, um, in uh, specifically for Black Ops Four, what new features are there going to be? And I know this is pretty uh, broad or generic, um, but especially given that the uh, campaign is going away. But what features have been announced? What do you expect? Things like that. So the features that stood out to me are instead of the create your class or instead of customizing a soldier, whatever they've been calling them throughout uh, the games. They're going to do specialist classes, which is uh, something that they had in Black Ops 3. And something else that I would say it draws similarities to is the Rainbow Six Siege classes, how those are kind of designed to, be, to do your, a specific job. So I know for sure that there is going to be a healer class, which pretty much their sole purpose is to support and heal and provide ammo to their teammates. A new, a new feature that kind of goes along with that is that there's no more regen health. Like you can't just cover, wait two seconds, and you'll be fine. You manually heal yourself uh, by pressing a button. Based on that, I would say that it would require a cooldown, but I don't know if there's a maximum number that you can do per life, and if the healer can help refill 
if there is a maximum or if it'll just be a cool down, you heal yourself, you wait 20 seconds before you can heal yourself again. So I know that four of the classes so far are returning from Black Ops 4 and there's four brand new ones. I would also venture a bold, but it's not really bold, guess saying that they probably already have about 12 classes in mind instead of the eight that they announced and they'll release them in DLC packs. That is speculation, but based on how, you know, DLC works, that would not surprise me. Yeah, I I, I would agree with you. There's always, you know, people wanting new to test something out new. Um, so that's that's always something that people I think look forward to. Um, I know in like World War Two, which is the most recent game, um, you know they started coming out with I I don't know what if they're called classes, but divisions. I'm not sure what the restrictions for each specialist class will be. Um, if they'll just bring it right from Black Ops 3, if they'll keep it similar to Divisions, if they'll do a hybrid or something completely different, if weapons will be limited, but you get bonuses or perks if you use specific weaponry. So that's something that I would look forward to learning about. Um, the solo missions that I talked about earlier, or we talked about earlier, will pretty much also function as a tutorial, I believe, for each specialist class, so you get some backstory and kind of a tutorial of how this character can be used effectively. Um, something else that I believe is going to happen, which they've had in previous games, I, I know that they've had something kind of like this in Infinite Warfare, is some type of quote-unquote alt that you will get once you fulfill certain requirements, either a point thing or a meter thing or a time thing. So what I've noticed in the trailers is that there's like a war machine, like grenade launcher that someone's used. There's this, there's some other things that people have planted or placed that could also be their alt based on their class. So different things that people will be able to use based on, you know, however many points they've been getting. So I'm interested to know what each class, what their alt will be. Can you have multiple alts? Can you swap them out? That's always, you know, something interesting. Yeah, I I, I think it will be definitely different. I, I am curious as to how that'll play out. You know, I, or I'm sure it hasn't been said yet or anything, but historically there's been, you know, kill streaks or score streaks or, or whatever, these kind of replacing those or in addition to those. You know, do you think those things are kind of just going to be pushed to the wayside um, and there's just kind of this one central wall? Kill streaks are going to come back because in the trailer you have like a chopper gunner AC-130 kind of thing that they show in the clip around like the minute 15 mark. And uh, there's another helicopter that someone shoots like an RPG at at some point in the trailer and you also see a dog running around. So I'm guessing that killstreaks will be back in some form or maybe killstreaks will be based on your specialist class and there won't be just generic ones. Yeah, it, it does seem to be, I don't want to say unfair, but um, certainly some score streaks are obviously better than others. So it'd be hard to kind of match that for each class. Um, are, are there any um, any word on possibly new modes within multiplayer? Well, I know that in the trailer there were capture points, so I'm guessing that some of the classic game modes are back, like it looked like Hardpoint and uh, possibly Domination as well. I'm sure that they're bringing back Free For All and Search and Destroy and just regular Deathmatch. But something else that was announced is called Blackout Mode, which is going to be Black Ops Battle Royale PUBG style uh, game mode. And what I know about this is that it's going to be on one of the largest maps that Call of Duty's used. Um, I don't 
believe that they can fit a hundred people and like that's just an impossibility for call of duty i would venture more towards 20 max and if they're going to keep it similar to other battle royale type games it'll probably be like a free-for-all mixed with a search and destroy just not really more objective based more just elimination based but i do know that the characters that you will choose are all characters that have appeared in previous Black Ops games. So Alex Mason, Victor Reznov, Raul Menendez, characters like that. Even the zombies people like Nikolai and Tank Dempsey. I think that those would be the characters that you will get to play as. And the weaponry should be a mix between new and old. It may not be weapons that appear throughout the rest of the multiplayer, but just blackout mode specific, like an old AK-47 or some other like M14 rifle that you probably wouldn't see in the future. Um, I also know that s someone mentioned that there's gonna be vehicles, both air, sea, and land, and you will be able to use zombies, possibly to some extent, I don't know how that's gonna work if you just find an area and you'll be able to summon a zombie horde that will be able to take out the enemies so i i also don't know if it's gonna be solo or if it'll be duo or squad based as well so all of that is still speculation in my book i'm curious if the map will stay the same throughout its life or if various dlcs will bring up about new maps so that's something that i'm curious about so i think that's all i know so far about the blackout mode so let's go ahead and shift over to our favorite mode which is the zombies mode all right well so for zombies i really haven't seen much of it i did see one trailer that looks like it was based on the titanic um story where they kind of just I don't know if they're trying to say that, like, no, there wasn't a shipwreck because of an iceberg. Everyone just turned into zombies, and that's what happened. <laughs> um, but uh, so maybe going at least off of that first video, um, what what expectations do you have for the zombie mode? Initially, when I looked at the first trailer, which was the or one of the first trailers, the Titanic one, which is called uh, Voyage of Despair. I was like, oh, and eh, not much has changed. It's a new cast. Uh, they're on a boat. The box seems to be returning. There is something else weird that I, I could not figure out what it was. It was something like the passengers of the boat turned into the zombies, but they also turned into the box. They turned into something else. I couldn't figure out exactly what it was. I'll, maybe I'll go back and analyze it later, but let me know if you know what that thing is but the more i watch it and the more i think about it i'm sure that the zombies mode will be fun and i'm wondering if they'll keep what world war ii did and they kind of guide you along the way or if it'll be more like older uh black ops games in terms of the easter egg where it's just you got to find it on yourself or just you just survive that's all we're going to tell you yeah I, I really liked that about the world war ii uh, zombie maps it's you know it's enough to kind of get you going with the easter egg so you're not i mean essentially unless you're some call of duty guru um you have to look up every step and then there's no real fun or figuring out but i mean some of these things it's just impossible to figure out on your own one of the other uh campaigns that zombies will have at launch there's three total that uh they'll have is called nine i believe in it's in roman numerals it's ancient rome uh in like a gladiator arena and it seems to be all melee based combat at least from initial look i don't know if maybe they'll introduce a bow and arrow or some other like throwable objects but that's something that we like we've seen melee stuff before but not never a solo melee based thing in call of duty that that's something that i am excited about but i'm still i'll keep my reservations until i see it uh play out 
it could be just very tough just based on the number of zombies and how strong the melee weapons melee weapons actually are but yeah that that i'm not sure about yeah, if it's melee based, I would have to imagine that there's um, some kind of melee power ups. Like, um, I don't like in I don't know if it was a Black Ops game or or not, but um, like there was a baseball bat and a shovel and things like that. And I know, like in uh, Advanced Warfare, once you got your uh, exosuit your melee become, became much po more powerful, so I would imagine there has to be some sort of more powerful melee attack. And I'm wondering if they'll do something similar to, like, uh, in Overwatch, Reinhardt has a fire strike from his hammer, like, so to have, like, some type of projectile. Or in, like, Destiny 1, there was, like, uh, the hunter had, like, a dagger dance where he would just rapidly like jump around quickly doing slashes with his daggers so i wonder if there'll be stuff kind of like that just to even the odds instead of just one like press right trigger and then you swing and if you hold it you keep swinging so there's got to be other stuff they'll probably infuse magic in there because it is the zombies mode so magic and science kind of collide so there will be something with the weapons that help give the characters some type of edge i believe and how many maps do you think or know are coming out in the vanilla game there's three coming out at launch so nine which is the rome one and voyage of despair is the titanic one those will both include the same cast of characters so i don't know if There'll be time traveling, what the connection is between the two. I, I'm not sure of that yet, but they're the same characters. There will also be the third map is a kind of a remake of Mob of the Dead, which was which game was that, Steve? Can you correct me? Mm, it was Black Ops 2. I, I would probably guess that as well. Yeah. Um, but they're going to bring back the original Black Ops cast of Nikolai, Tank Dempsey, uh, where are the other two guys? The other two guys, oh, the Japanese remember. guy and the <laughs> German guy. Um, Rick Toffen and, uh, what was the Japanese guy's name? The Japanese guy. Someone, someone <laughs> put it in the comments and then you'll know what it is. But they're going to be in the, uh, the Mob of the Dead remake map and that'll be the third one i'm wondering if they'll continue what they've been doing in black ops 3 where they'll be time traveling around changing the past and i'm wondering also if you have two time traveling crews going around dealing with zombies if there'll be any overlapping at some point in the future because that was something that i always wanted them to do in other games like you had in black ops 2 you have the transit crew which they did not ever cross over with the OG Zombies crew, but then you had Call of the Dead, which had Sarah Michelle Gellar and the other actors, and they helped the OG Zombie crew with their mission, so... But you couldn't see them both on screen, so I want to... I want them to do something to kind of expand the world. Maybe DLC 4 to wrap up the game. That could be, yeah. But there, you'll get a lot of uh, narrative from the Zombies mode if, if you're really uh really hungry for some of that story something that we always are curious about is if you complete the easter egg does the map end or do you keep going until you die okay yeah i'm i'm uh, curious about that as well um so so i have one more question um kind of wrapping up the zombies section here um any word on expected new weapons, new new abilities, things like that. Um, you know, I know there's, you know, always at least one or two really good special guns. Um, so any, any word on what those might be yet? Well, just looking at the Voyager of the Dam uh, trailer, it looks like there's some type of uh, six-shooter pistol that the female character is using, and She's able to dual wield it, so I'm wondering 
I'm sure that that'll be one of the starting guns, but I'm wondering if you'll be able to dual wield. The scientist looking guy tosses like these green grenades. So we could be seeing some type of grenade infused with magic or science. The brutish guy pretty much just punches. So I'm, I'm wondering if you'll see some type of like gauntlet type gun and uh, the other guy, like the suave guy, is using knives the whole time, so I'm wondering if they will bring the melee weapons not just from Nine, but also into other uh, campaigns, because that'd be interesting. It's something that uh, Left 4 Dead 2 did a lot. Like, they, you'd be able to switch back and forth between a pistol as a secondary or a melee weapon, so that would be, that'd be something that they could do. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that pretty much wraps up all the initial questions. If you guys have more questions, leave them down in the comments and maybe we'll do another follow-up video, especially after E3 um, with what we know and kind of get some more in-depth speculation about the game. Um, but as of right now, where we sit in mid-May, game will come out in uh, about right about five months from now. Do you expect you'll get the game? When I saw the trailer, well, before the trailers, let me start there. Before the trailers, I was on the fence. When I heard that they weren't doing a campaign, I was like, that takes away a lot that I enjoy about the games. So I was on the fence. I saw the trailers and I wasn't blown away. Um, I was just thought, oh, it's just kind of a rinse and repeat. They're just kind of going back to what they know, like a semi-future modern uh, time period with zombies in like an alternate past time period. Nothing really seems to be different. Maybe I just will skip it altogether. Then I saw kind of people break down and kind of explore it more and I explored it more myself and I'm kind of getting back into it. So I think that I'm going to wait till E3 but I'm back leaning towards getting it. I'll probably pre-order it. Okay. Well, and, and you know, if you know you're going to get it, I think if you pre-order it, you get exclusive access to the beta. Yeah, but who am I going to play it with? You don't, you're not going to get it right away. You're not going to get it for like a year probably because you're such a cheap ass. Um, no, I typically what I do, unless I'm really blown away, um, which then I'll get it right away, um, I wait until about uh, Black Friday or maybe even just before Christmas. They usually go on sale for 40 bucks, So it's usually worth the wait for me unless it's like something everyone's playing all the time. Um, but it's especially given now, um, it, it's going to be interesting how it plays out without a campaign. Because um, a game like Overwatch, which doesn't have a campaign and it's all online, I really wish I would have got on that bandwagon a lot sooner than I did. Alright, well, with that, I mean, I think that's our full speculation slash preview of the game um, that we can do now. Um, as we kind of mentioned before, as maybe more trailers come out, or um, definitely once E3 comes out... Um, we can have a little bit better of an opinion on the game. So, um... Alright, well, I will see you in October then, probably, and uh, Steve will see you sometime next year. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, yeah, subscribe, hit the bell if you like hitting bells, and uh, check out some other videos, and look forward to our next videos, and we'll see you around. See ya!